Thank you very much for coming. Thanks for having me. How you doing? How you doing? Good. How y'all doing? My name is Cliff Crochet. Hopefully y'all come listen to me. As you can tell already, I'm not from here. I'm from the great state of Louisiana, South Louisiana. And uh, you probably think I talk funny and you have a problem understanding me. That's fine. I get it. It happens everywhere I go. Can you understand me? Except when I get pumped up and they start, words start coming out fast and it kind of, it kind of, uh, it turns into one big word. But anyway, I, uh, from Louisiana, just professionally, I fish, basically fish and bass pro tour. And what we're going to talk about today is uh, casting techniques that help you catch more fish. And the reason is how this all plays together is in a perfect world we'd all be fishing in a, in a wide open lake and you could make any kind of cast you needed as far as you could to get to where you're going that would be in a perfect perfect case scenario but sometimes you can't do that a lot of times when, you, when, you, when you're fishing you're trying to catch bass large mount bass they're around heavy cover whether it be docks rocks bridge piles lay down they use the cover to be fishing, you try to catch bass, large mount bass. They're around heavy cover. Whether it be docks, rocks, bridge piles, lay down. They use the cover to, to uh, attack big fish or crawfish or whatever they get to eat. When they set up around that cover, that big long overhanging bass like so won't get me in that cover. If I'm fishing at this, throwing at this dock right here, it's hard for me to get under that dock with an overhanging cast. If I want to get on the right side of that dock, it's hard for me to, to get it if I, if I can't get it from the right angle. So, the whole point of this conversation is different casting techniques to catch more fish. The first cast, the easiest cast, that we all know, this is just the overhead cast. This is going to be for open water, long cast, throwing rattle trap, sand baits, crank baits, top water, over grass, over rock points, that type of stuff. Really simple once you get it. Keep your thumb on the spool, bring the rod back, one gentle motion, bring the rod forward, release the spool with a rod that about, that would be at about 11 o'clock. Release the spoon. The bait goes flying right before the bait hits the water. Press your thumb on the spoon. That way you don't get a backlash. Start your retreat. You now press the click the button. Put your thumb on the spoon. Bring the rod back. And then one gentle motion. Bring the rod forward. Rod gets to 11 o'clock. Release the spoon. Bait flies down the lake. Into the water. Nice long catch. One tip about making a long cast is it doesn't matter how hard you throw it. Most of the time, the harder you throw it, the more backlash is going to be. What you want to do is just bring the rod forward, just do a little bit more momentum, and you'll get more distance on the cast. So that's the first cast, open water cast. That's the one you're going to do with most of the time. The next cast, that I, that I use a lot to get baits in a heavy cover where a big bass live. It's just a little roll cast. What I want to do here, so this is a roll cast. Self explanatory. Roll the chip, roll the pass, roll the cast. Two handed cast. I want to dump my butt. Here we go. Just a little roll cast. That's good. A little short. Uh, presentation to the key spots where I want to get it to. This is where you want to use this. This pole right here, where that black ring is, that's a tree. Overhanging tree or overhanging bridge or overhanging cover, I want to get to the base of it. If I make that overhead pattern, I'll never get to it. I'll be going to the branch, the bridge, or whatever. I'll never get to where it goes behind. 
broadcasting. But you know what? You gotta be in heavy yep, field to catch the fish. So, what's the biggest fish you ever caught? A big catfish. Like right catfish. If you fry him, put him back. Well, if you do catch, if you do catch another big catfish, you want to keep him. Go see these people. Get your fillet king. Fry him up. All right. Before you do that, go to the cash and you get your fillet on, and uh, it'll be a lot easier for you. So. There's the heavy drum. I want to get my big foot down in the tree. I want to make a roll call. Here's what I'm going to do. I want about, about a foot, foot and a half a line out. I want to take the tip of my line. I want to engage the rear to keep my thumb on the tool. I want to take the tip of my line. And so I'm going to make a little circle with it. When I make that little circle, I'm going to create momentum. That, that big thing to the bottom of that circle, I'm going to reach my thumb. That's the secret thing. Off the ride. To the piece of cover. One thing that helps is this technique. If you take your off hand, you take your off hand, put it on the front of the rod, and you just flip, flip your lip over there. You roll with that one, roll with that one, and that's what you're going to pull over the rod. You don't have to pull the weight of the rod. Three of them take all these lips. So what you want to do, you see about a foot and a half, foot, foot and a half a line. Then I uh, got my hand. I'm going to bring out my thumb to the pool. I'm going to finish the ride. I'm going to make a circle. There you go. The deal, the deal at all times, the rest of the release, the rest of the release, the pool. That's where it's going. That's the score of the baseball. So, if I release, if I make that roll time, and I release, and I release my line, my thumb, off the pool, then my baby's up here, guess where I'm going? Way up here. If I release it too early, in my, in my swing, hit, hit the ground right there. So if you can kind of picture when that thing, when that ride, when that baby spins around that ride, you can release it kind of right below the ride, pushing it forward. That's how you get going. Thumbs on the spool, hands on the ride. Got my, got my tip out here ready to go, got my rod ready to go, got my off hand right here. Make a circle. I really didn't say speaking with this tension when I would break it. Just be part of the story, you know what I mean? This technique is good right handed or left handed. I'm extremely right handed, but I taught myself over time to do it left handed. When I first started, I couldn't do it with my left hand. I don't want to listen to that. It's I couldn't do it with my left hand because my left hand was weak. Everybody it's the left hand, you know what I mean? So, what I did, when you take your off hand, as long as you're right hand around, everything's good, you know what I mean? If you're right hand, if you're right hand around, you're good. Even if you're left hand, you look like you're crazy. But, if you're around, everything's good. Just take a, take a loop of that rod, release it at the bottom, there you go. Put your off hand right here. That didn't work. At least if you heard. Get a loop. Up with some off hand. Put a piece of cover. Catch a big fish. So there's two kinds that help you catch bigger fish and more fish. How does that help you catch more fish and bigger fish? Because they like a crazy because you say, Cliff, how does it matter the way I pass? on how many fish I catch and how big they are. It matters because if fish in shallow water or heavy cover, bigger fish set up in heavier cover because they feel comfortable they can attack that prey. It's kind of like if you hunt, generally if you hunt, you don't kill big animals and kill a big wild kill. You kill them in wooded areas around, around drugs and that kind of stuff. They feel comfortable, you know more. Yeah, same thing with the big fish in the shallow, shallow, uh, shallow cover. 
The next tech, castle technique that is uh, probably with more money in fishing terms than any other technique is pitching. This is pitching. We, over time, have messed up the name, we call it flipping. And this is pitching. Pitching and flipping, we'll talk about both of them. Saw that? That thing jumped out and grabbed my face. Tied it up. I cannot believe that. Anyway, so we talked about uh, pitching technique. This is for both for tactical type fishing. Heavy cover most of the time. Using uh, jigs, worms, tubes, that kind of stuff. Big rods, big line, braided lines, fishing grass. It's almost like you're stalking these fish. You're moving real slow control them on them. And you want to get, you want to hit every piece of cover. You want to hit this bush, that tree, that piece of grass, that tree, that tree. Instead of making a long cast and covering a lot of area, I want to make precise cast a certain piece of the cover. Put a, a real quick, fish the tree, into the piece of cover, out the piece of cover, on to the next one. I will tell you this, if, uh, this technique is generally known, like I just said, for, for flipping and pick, uh, jigs and worms and Texas rigs and that kind of stuff. But it's very effective to use this technique to put certain bait where they don't belong. So to flip a, a crankbait under a dock, to flip a buzz bait way back in the water. I would recommend learning to flip with your, with your off hand. Because most of your bikes are using this technique. Some of your bikes are using this technique. Happen as soon as the bait goes in the water on that certain piece of cover. So when that, when that bait goes in there, if I'm, if I'm flipping with my dominant hand, when that bait hits the water and I fish bites it, I'm going to reel it in. You can't reel it in. You got to switch hands, he's still using the cover, you can't get it out. So I recommend to uh, learn how to do it with your, with your off hand, that way your real hand is all the way to That is what we call pitching. It's a really good fishing heavy cover and you want to make short, precise locations with, with a bait with a fly engine. Another thing about pitching is when you I recommend you start grabbing the bait. So you start at the same point every day. So you can start at the same point every pass where the muscle memory becomes you know, repetition. Once you get the hang of it, I don't even, I don't even touch my bait no more. I just, when I finish my retrieve, I get it in, I just let the momentum take it, pull it right back out. Like so. Comes in. Way back up. All right, so that is, so we've, we've seen uh, overhead cast, which is good for open water, very little cover trying to get distance. We've seen a roll cast, sidearm roll cast. That is for uh, medium distance and uh, you know, heavy cover. And then we went over pitching for, for short, precise cast. It doesn't have to be uh, jigs or worms, it could be whatever type of bait, but to make short times, short presentation. Uh, pitching is the best, in my opinion. Another technique that works really well that I don't do a whole bunch because I, I, I think it gives me a quick disadvantage and I think it's, I've never been in fishing with it, and that's flipping. I'm gonna try to show you how, but you may have to go to the and learn because I'm not real good at it, but what you want to do is get out enough line, get you enough line to get you to your target. And then what you want to do is, uh, what I'm going to do, if I don't hit you, I'll flip a whole bunch. Get you enough, enough, uh, enough line to get to your target. And this, this is, this is uh, a technique that's used to be really close to your, really close to your target. You want to get you out enough line to get to the target that you want to be at. That's different from other casting techniques. You want to engage your rear. 
Just some goons right now. Just ready to go. I'm going to pick this line up off the rod. Bring it back. Over here. And then we want to let that bait. We want to let that bait and let that venom come back. Drop that rod tip. It comes this way. Guess what? You got to go back that way, alright? We want to get the, get the momentum coming back to me. Let it go past me. Drop that rod tip. Bring the rod tip back up. And then as that bait's going away from you, close to that cover, you want to, you want to, you know, feather that into the line that's in your offhand. The one big thing about this technique that, that has paid off from me in the past is once, once that bait hits the water, and it's, it drops in that piece of cover about a dock or whatever, it's ready to go. My reels engaged, so if he bites it right there, all I gotta do is set the hook. The, uh, I said this like 10 times before, and I'll say it again because it's really important. Over time, we, we've been taught, of, or we, we, we've taught ourselves, or we thought, uh, you know, overhand cast, that has to be for a crankbait. Or you can throw a jig that far, or a drop side. How, how is, whatever's the best technique to get where you're going, get your bait where you want to be. Same thing with flipping the kitchen. That has to be a uh, that has to be a texture for it. has to be a jig. And that's not true. You'd be amazed how, how many more bites you get, how many awesome bites, hard bites you get when you put a crankbait in a place and show a fish a crankbait that normally all you see is texture for and stuff. So those are just a few different ca casting techniques that uh, will help you catch more fish and catch some bigger fish. The, uh, the best way to learn these techniques is uh, just, just practice in the yard or uh, backyard, even in the front yard. You go in the street, just get out of the way and keep the cars coming. The one thing I have learned is that the, uh, the worst place to, to learn or to practice is in the pool on Saturday morning. You've been at work all week, waiting to go fishing. You get the boat finally Saturday morning, and you here you are trying to do stuff, you're not efficient with it. You get back out since you rolled the day, and uh, it's a short day. So practice during the week, and there's different passing techniques. By the time you get to the weekend, it will uh, it'll help you put more fish in the pool. So that's my opinions and stuff that, uh, that I do, that works for me. Does anybody have any questions? Anybody have any war stories? You gotta have any big fish stories that got away. You got any stories, buddy? About any big fish that got away? No? Alright. You got any fish stories? Any fish stories? Alright, no fish stories. So anyway, thanks for hanging out. I'm Cliff Torche. I'll be around the uh, the uh, casting pond. If not, I'll be at the casting pool. Thanks for coming out. Let's hang out from three. We can talk anything but uh Religion and politics. Fishing, football, food is all good. Anything but uh, religion and politics. Thanks for coming. Well, have a good one.